Look at this framing. Quentin Tarantino could not. Hello, kids. Yet again, I am here with another video. I posted on Twitter. Oh, it's been kind of a long time ago now. It was like last month, actually, that I had found some of my old Sims 2 machinimas and well, that's what we're going to be doing today, watching my old Sims 2 machinimas. Now, before I get started, I have two things that I want to say. Number one, I have a bone to pick with YouTube. I found out recently that they, for whatever reason, I, well, I have a theory, but for whatever reason, YouTube keeps disabling my comments, like, automatically. I don't, I never disable my comments. Like, for any reason, I've never really had any reason to disable my comments, but for whatever reason, Miss YouTube thinks it's appropriate to just disable my comments because she wants to, I guess. My theory for why this is happening, and I really hope this isn't the case, but I don't know what else it could be, is that I think that YouTube's, like, auto-detection thing thinks that I'm a minor which I'm not. If you don't know, uh, YouTube, it was, it's been a while now, but they have this like automatic thing where if they detect minors during a video, they disable the comments for the minor safety, I guess. I guess they think for my safety, they need to disable the comments. But uh, I'd like to tell you, uh, Miss Susan, that I am not a minor. I am 20 years old and I would like to have my comments not be automatically disabled. That's kind of lame of you and I wish you would stop. Now that that's out of the way, the second thing that I want to say is that this video is sponsored. That is correct. This video is sponsored by my Simbler. Yes, since this is a Sims related video, I thought it was appropriate to bring up that I had made a new Simbler uh, for Sims 4 related things. It will be linked in the comments down below. Um, I've only had it for a little over two weeks now, and there's already a whole lot of content for you to go through. Currently, I am posting uh, my builds that I do every so often. I have one legacy challenge going that I post pretty regularly, and I have an asylum challenge going, which I just recently started up. I need to uh, play that a little bit more so there's more content there. Yeah, there's that. So, without further ado, I guess we should just get right into it. Um, all of these were on my hard drive, uh, my external hard drive that I have that I use to, I guess, just offload old stuff that I don't use or need anymore to, you know, make space. I have since gotten a better hard drive, but I've kept this one around because it does have a lot of old memories on it. So, I have four videos that we're going to watch. The first one, I don't, I remember making it, I don't remember why I made it. I think I just made it because I was bored, and I think it's supposed to be a commercial for something. I don't really know what. I'm just gonna get the headphones on and see what this is all about. Okay, we have a broken television. Lots of trash. We have our sim walking in in their underwear. Also, ceiling nowhere to be found. Pour some wine, has a drink, and that's it. That's just it. I I, I, don't, I I don't know. I also don't know. Let me see if the audio is actually like working correctly. Technical difficulties aside, I did check, and that video just didn't have any audio for some reason. I mean, like I said, it's been a while. I haven't watched these videos, honestly, probably since I've made them. This next video uh, requires a little bit of backstory. I made this when I was in the 10th grade. It was for a project, a history project. I was that person who, you know, always went above and beyond for my projects. Sometimes. Sometimes I didn't care, but other times I cared a whole lot. Enough to go in The Sims, make something, and then submit it for a project. I do remember, however, I made a 100 on this, and I felt very happy by that fact. So the project it was a history project. We had a choice. I forgot what the other choice was, but the choice that I did was we had to make a model or a diorama of some sort of a plantation house. And I decided to do it in The Sims because number one, I just really did not feel like going out and buying stuff and trying to glue popsicle sticks together 
when I know I could just make something that is better in The Sims, you know, it'll actually look like a house. And so this is what this video is. Wait, this is actually kind of dope. I like this. Hold on. Oh, and I did have to present this to the entire class, by the way. And I felt, um, I was really, really feeling myself when I was presenting this. Oh, we got some facts here. Oh, that's cool. The library. The owners of this plantation are a lawyer and his family, so it made sense to have a large library. Question. Wait, pause. Why does a lawyer have to own slaves? Y you know what? I was, what, 16? It, it, it doesn't matter. It's, it's a project. We're, we're not gonna pay attention to the logic. Well, it, no. Continue. Slaves would bring in food and drinks from the kitchen. Some days a slave would play the violin for entertainment. Yes, this is correct. You see the empty world in the background. This is a balcony, pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> wow. And we have the gigantic master bedroom, way too big. Is the largest room. The missus of the household has her own shelf of books by the window. Again, the room's too big, way too big. They are taught by a private tutor in academics and the violin. This is an empty room. It's just empty, it's just there, okay. <laughs> oh, and this is the kitchen, which is separate from the house. Fun fact, oh well, I mean, you know, this is a history project, it's supposed to be correct. But yes, most plantation houses had kitchens that were separate from the house. I'm not really sure why this is, other than the fact that, you know, slaves weren't really meant to be in the main house, unless they were like house slaves. Anyways, d moving on. And there it is. Oh wait, I love this so much. The cinematography, look at me go. Wow, just a pl I can see why I got a 100 on this. I unironically love this. Wow, I can remember the day that I presented this too. A lot of people really liked it, you know? It, it was a little extra, but you know, there's nothing wrong with being extra when you're 16 years old. You know, it's, it's natural, okay? Gosh, I don't know what to say. Oh, um, I don't know why I didn't make the slave quarters for some reason. Oh, the project I think was specifically supposed to be the plantation house, so that's fine. Okay, so the next three videos will also require a little bit of backstory. So I'm just gonna check the dates on these. So these are made from 2014 to 2015. So it was about, let's see, 14, yeah, it was about 14 when these were made. Like I said in a couple of previous videos, I fancied myself a machinimator uh, when I was younger and I wanted to start this whole long, thought out, planned out, plotted out <laughs> machinima series that was set in some kind of, I don't know, post-apocalypse. I was a big fan of dystopian things at this time because, you know, I think The Hunger Games was like really popular around this time and just the dystopian genre in general. I think I can remember what the plot was supposed to be. So, the series is called Cheshire because I, as a 14 year old, or however old I said I was, 14 I think, was very <laughs> not original let's be honest so i thought you know okay so we'll have it set in this uh dystopian city big city um and there's this girl she's an assassin and that's kind of all i remember oh when she kills people she like has this really big smile which is why people call her cheshire because no she smiles really big before she kills me that's like her calling card yes I was, again, really feeling myself at this time. I wish I had the confidence, but that's besides the point. So I think the story goes, well, the story was supposed to go. I should say that I believe this was supposed to be, it was a Wattpad series before it was a machinima. By the way, <laughs> my Wattpad still exists. It's still out there. I'm not deleting it. I love it for what it is, which is cringy 14 year old writing. And I'm gonna keep it around so, I mean, if you're really, really intent on trying to find it, Cheshire on Wattpad, it still exists. The cover is really badly drawn by me. Anyways, the story. So Cheshire, she's like an orphan. She came from this orphanage, I think. And, or did she, did, I don't, I can't remember. But bottom line, her mission is to kill this one guy 
and this guy turns out to be her brother. And that's kind of it. There's not really a whole lot to it. I'm sure there was a whole lot to it when I was 14, but it's been six years, I've forgotten a whole lot of it. I do know that I have like a bunch of, so there's this, I don't even know if anyone ever used this, but Microsoft OneNote is like a notebook type of thing. And I use that to organize everything for the Machinima series. The file still exists. Obviously I don't have Microsoft OneNote anymore, so I can't really open it and see what's inside of it. But for this, I have only three episodes. They're not very long. The first one is one minute, the next one is three minutes, and the last one is four minutes flat. We have the pilot, which I made in March of 2014, and then episode one and two, which I made in April of like the next year. I don't know why it took me like a year to actually make the series. Like it wasn't like I spent all of that time planning it out because there's only scripts for those episodes, but we're not gonna dwell on that. It's time to actually watch it. Oh boy, like I said, I haven't seen a lot of these in a really long time, so we're gonna see how this is gonna be. I already know it's going to be so bad. I'm, I'm ready though, let's see. We'll start with the pilot, cause why not? So we have some, oh my goodness, how could I forget? Okay, so the text that you see here, I, <laughs> I made a font out of my old, out of my own handwriting. I still write like this, unfortunately. Not really. I think it's gotten better since then, but I made a font out of my own handwriting. I don't, I mean, I guess it's kind of cool, but it doesn't really match thematically for the series, and I don't really know why I used it, but we're just gonna move on. We got some subtitles. Uh, not as cool as the subtitles in my newest Sims 2 Machina, which you can watch on my channel right now, and you should. Let's see, Dear Diary. <laughs> Today, I got a mission that would change Slithco forever. By the way, I'm pretty sure Slithco is like the name of the company in like Pokemon Red? It's the one you get like the flute from? I don't know why I jacked that name, but I did. I guess it sounded cool to me. My boss gave me the assignment of killing the CEO of RevCorp, Jeffrey Benedict. I mean, j look at this cinematography. This is a great honor. I finally get to eliminate Slith's number one obstacle. So I think um, Slith Co. was the company that she works for. I have no idea. I, it's been a while. I forgot. Since this is such a big project, Bastion gave me one week for prep. Only one week? That's all you need? Not a month? I sh probably shouldn't disclose all of my plans in this notebook. Oh, look at this. We got a flashback. That's what Bastion told me at least. Cheshire, time to go. Bastion will kill us if we're late. So wait, okay. Apparently that's her name. Um, very interesting name. Um, also, <laughs> what is this aspect ratio? Oh my, I don't know why it changes like this. I don't, I don't, I don't think that was intentional. I think this is like an image. But there's nobody outside. Who called her? I don't know. A week from now. Oh my goodness. Swearing on this channel. I could not. So I. Oh! The art. The art. I drew this myself. Oh god. I was 14 in Photoshop, I think. Oh lord. I forgot all about this title card. I hate it so much. It's so bad. Oh, but it's 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 still endearing. Okay, is there anything after this? Nope, just fades out. Okay. And by the way, I made all of these videos in Windows Movie Maker, which, you know, it's it's not uh, avid, but <laughs> it worked for me. Oh man, that that was an experience, and we're only on the pilot. Who who knows what we got next? Oh, and her hairstyle just changes. Well, I will say though, since I do know a little bit about uh, filmmaking and I guess TV as well, you know, th things can change between the pilot and uh, the first episode. Well, the first proper non-pilot episode. We're moving on. Oh good, you're here. Oh, can I stop using that god-awful font? Well, that's good. Oh good, you're here, let's go. We shouldn't waste time. 
Oh, look at these chairs, dude. Oh my goodness. Listen, I don't want a dog whoever made these chairs, but they... Moving on. And a nice big whiteboard here. Okay, well, for starters, I think it's safe to say we all know that Jeff... Jeff, he's not your pal, he's your target, Cheshire. Okay, I know she has a real name, but I have no gosh darn clue what it was. Apparently people just call her Cheshire. I guess it's like a code name. Like, you know, James Bond is a code name, I guess. I, I just hate the name so much. It's just so, it's so bad. But we have to remember that I was 14 years old. You cannot blame 14 year old me. I can though, because it's me, but, but moving on. Yeah, I know, Jeffrey then. Jeffrey works at RevCorp. Why are you stating the obvious? Come on, get on with it. You don't have all day. I have no idea what the purpose of this meeting is. I would if you'd stop interrupting me. Yes, very professional assassin place here. Anyways, Jeffrey works at Rev, but I think we all know we can't get him there, which I feel like is also very obvious. We'll have to seclude him and swiftly execute him. <laughs> the problem is I don't know where. <laughs> Any ideas? <laughs> Maybe his home. Oh God, why is the frame so bad? Oh no, that won't work. Oh my god, this is wall of text. He has that place locked down 24-7. It will be impossible to get within 70 yards of the place without being spotted. I think it would be better to set something up. What, like an accident? Cheshire, we're assassins, not amateurs with a grudge. Well, to be fair, faking an accident? Not that bad of a strategy. <laughs> Could you guys please quiet down? I have a client on the line. Gosh. Hey, Miss Thing, can someone remind me why- Whoa! <laughs> <coughs> I did not see that coming at all. I don't remember that. I really do not remember that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, we're just gonna move on. Jesus, Ralph, it's 10 a.m. And this is coming from a bartender, question mark? Just because I serve drunks doesn't mean I have to be one. Hmm. I guess that's her day job. I don't know. Well, hello there, Cheshire. We have the love interest. Hi, Cadbury. I mean, Carberry. Cadbury? Very clever. Oh, that's quite all right. You know why some people call me Cadbury? Tell me why. Tell me. Why? <laughs> because I'm so sweet, the ladies just want to eat me up. Oh my god, I hate him already. And I wrote him. Well, see you later, Cheshire. It just skips away. That guy, I swear. I don't know, Bastion. I don't think she's ready for this. What, what do you mean? You were the one who recommended her. I know, but I'm starting to regret it. Oh, these animations are so bad. Jesus, Ralph. I mean, listen, Ralph, you worry too much. She's a natural at this. You know her background. Oh, we're gonna do some begging. If you had some faith in yourself, you'd know this. She'll be fine. I hope you're right. And I think that's the end. My god, that, ugh, that was, that was an experience. But we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. Moving on. All right, episode two, the final episode. She's a bartender, you guys. Lighting, terrible, just awful. I can't believe you cheated me. Who is this? We don't know. No one cheated you. I went fair and square. Oh yeah, we'll win this. Oh, we love a fight. Yes. By the way, fun fact. Um, I don't know if this is fun or not, but I think I definitely know from two to three, maybe from to four also. But they use the same animations for like. Not only just like the, the fight animation, but for like a lot of things. Very long fight scene. They are going at it. Oh, I would love it in The Sims 2 when <laughs> two Sims started fighting. People will like run up and you know start cheering them on or booing them. That you just, it's it's the little things, you know, the little details that is just missing from some of the more recent games. But I we're not gonna go there. Not today. Oh, this fight. Oh, it's over. And, uh, old dude won. Interesting. Uh-oh. More swears. And he threw a drink at him. Apparently, <laughs> I'm getting Slith is like, I don't know, some kind of... The concept here is that you could just hire them to, like, kill anybody. Like, they don't only do, like, I guess, high-profile targets. There's some lore for you. Alright, everyone out. I don't need any more drunks fighting in here. The next day... Wait, I think I know what might be going on. I don't know. I kind of remember. Ugh, what now? This is the smallest cubicle I have ever seen. Oh my goodness. 
Sebastian, what is this? Look at this framing, oh my goodness. Quentin Tarantino could not. This framing is so outside the window. She's in one window and he's in another window. Oh, my 14 year old mind is so powerful. My goodness. <laughs> Calm down, it's just a simple side mission. All you have to do is waste a vagabond. If it's so simple, why don't you get a rookie to do it? It's nothing personal, Cheshire. Between you and me, I think it's a little below you. I don't even want you to do it. It's just... Ralph has some reservations about you. How long has she been working here? He doesn't think I can take on the Benedict mission? That doesn't seem like him. In the long and short of things, yes. Fine then, I guess I'll do it. Got some nice artifacting going on. I have no idea what's going on with that. This place is a dump, vagabonds. Am I right? Also, by the way, I should probably point out that I didn't build any of these sets. I downloaded them probably from Mod The Sims. And again, it's been a while, so I have no idea who made them, but you know, they, they're pretty well made. Moving on. Okay, you mongrel, where are you? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> The slow motion, the black and white, oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, got a, got a little blood stain going on. I mean, this true cinema, I don't know how many times I can say it, but <laughs> the skill. Oh, and she smiles too. She, yes. Also, if you'll notice, it, it's across the street from her house. How, how convenient, wow. So it's done. Yeah, something was off about her though. Probably not, I don't know. Oh, th those animations? Well, okay, so I mean, I obviously added the text in post, but the way it just like lined up with the animations and the text is just so good. Gosh, I wish I remembered like fully how to do all of this. I would be un- Stoppable. Well, probably have nothing to worry about. It's like she seemed delighted or something. It was really weird. It, okay, well, she has a lot in her past, you know. I suppose you're right. Ha, huh, and you say I worry too much. And there we have the title card. There it is. Wow. Well, those were all of the machinimas that I had today. I had one, just one more that I really want to show you. However, I don't think I'm in possession of it anymore. Obviously all of these were deleted from YouTube because yikes. I don't know where it was originally. I still have my old laptop like way over there on a surface desk. Dresser, dresser, it's a dresser. <laughs> it's over there on my dresser and I don't have the charger to it anymore because yet again, I give something to someone and they don't take care of it. I got my laptop back, but I didn't get my charger back. Who is surprised? Not me, I'll say that much. As such, there's no charger, so I can't, you know, it won't power up. If the other machinima that I'm thinking of is anywhere, it would be there. For whatever reason, I still have to script to it on this uh, external hard drive, but I just don't have the video itself. I looked in all the crevices for it and I could not find it unfortunately and there's actually a few others that I made I went back on to my old Simbler where I posted the YouTube links for all of these um, and there are a few more machinimas that I made that just disappeared into the ether I guess uh, especially after I deleted them from YouTube yeah gosh those memories you know just great that's really all I have for now. I have a couple of other videos planned. I know I've been doing, well, it's only been like the last two, but including this one, I've been doing quite a few <laughs> Sims related videos. I promise this won't turn into a Sims channel, but I have a few other videos planned for the future. Hopefully I can get them done at some point. But as for right now, Twitter, Kofi, can follow me if you want you don't have to uh, like I said in the beginning my similar link will be down below if you're interested in that kind of thing some of that was just so 
just so bad. I, I don't, honestly, if you aren't embarrassed of things that you did at age 14, then are you really a person? 